I send them some for record this. Easy. Come down my song. That one song. Send them on to the Miss I'm a born in a Jamaica 19. So we got the beautiful voice that's behind the instrumental inside the studio right now. Are uh, we going to be talking live to Kendra? Kendra, good evening to you. How are you doing today? Blessed love, I'm fine. I can listen to you and I can hear the, the rest of our spiritual coming through you each and every time you open your mouth. Where does that come from as an artist? Well, um, I wouldn't say I am Rastafarian. I'm just a conscious black woman. To say I'm Rastafarian means I will follow um, all the principles and the teaching of his imperial majesty. I actually follow the principles and teaching of um, Marcus Garvey and Selassie. So I'm just a conscious black woman. Okay, so you just go out in the, the conscious part, I should say. All right, so as an artist, if you could just introduce yourself as... Tell me where you started this from and who is Kendra Celestia, first of all? Okay, bless and love everybody. Well, um, Kendra Celesta was born in Jamaica, born and raised. Came here when I was 16 years old. I grew up in a, um, a very strict Christian home. I was, um, my father is a minister, so I grew up singing on the church choir. So music was always a part of my upbringing. However, reggae music, was more of a, um, a taboo in my house okay. so <laughs> so it sounds like you have that um a little sunday morning get up early and go church um stigma oh yes it's not even just sunday morning i did every morning we go church it'd be like <laughs> <laughs> oh tell me something what was your was your, your parents involved in the church any farmer way like a uh, deacon or anything like that yes my dad was a minister they always talk about the pastor that to them and then they know about them but to still see a reference but like that still that's right okay so tell about tell us a little bit more about your introduction to music well um as i said i've been doing music before i'm um, growing up in the church but my introduction to reggae music came when i came to london and um i felt as if i had to find myself as a person you know when yeah. you leave jamaica and you grow up you know yourself as a jamaican and then when you come to england you find out that you're black <laughs> oh, they give it to you the right way, right? Yeah, yeah. So that was a shock. So then, um, obviously, the knowledge of what Christianity was about was just not what I wanted in my life. So um, I started with poetry, spoken words, and um, yeah, and then I started doing backing singing for some people, and um, I fell in love with reggae music because um, it's in my family. It's it goes way back, so it was kind of like a natural progression, really. Okay, okay, I see that. I see the roots. Uh, it's well grounded, and trust me, receive the roots, and we like that. Um, so in terms of music, um, at the moment, what materials are you working in? Is there any special direction you go into with your music at the moment? Well, um, reggae, always reggae. Um, anything along those lines. At the moment, I'm working on my EP with um Rasplinger Records. Okay, you hear that people? The EP is out. So I, I like the people who support music because on iTunes. It's, I always say that um, artists need to be supported because reason being, if you go for artists, we pay average 10, 15 pounds to go into a rave. And if you go on iTunes, that song is roughly about 79p, 85p, depending on the, the demand for the song. So if you spend a 79p to an artist's career, it does, goes a long way. So the EP is out. And when will this be finished? Um, it's still a work in progress. We haven't had a official launch date yet, but it's not far. Not far, still still working for that. All right, yes. good, good. I hope when you finish, you give me a little first, look a a little, a little free copy. You know, you know, go already. Well, you don't know <laughs> that can go. Ahead. Okay, all right. So, so, so moving on now. Uh, in the music business now, who inspired you now, and who inspired you then? Um, inspire me now. I would say Queen Africa. Um, I love her militant, and I love um her versatility. She's not just a one sounding person and I like the depths of her voice and the um the collaborative music that she presents you know it's not what everybody else would do and I think with a lot of women as when you do reggae people are expecting you to just do love songs yeah. but Queen Africa is kind of like bro broken the mold and she's doing a more militant music and that's the kind of thing that I really want to push myself towards doing being more militant in my songs Okay, so uh, well received. 
is there one particular thing you would like us people's listening right now mm-hmm. you never know who is listening. i always say to people always be on your best performance and you're only good as your last performance if the biggest richest person is listening right now what would you like to say to that person in regards to your music and your capabilities of taking on the world musically well wow um it's just just listen just just listen to what i have to say i don't think i my aim is for the rich or for so forth my aim is to um educate people who are not able to be educated otherwise it's to educate um, black people to love themselves and it's to educate black people to be more self-sufficient so um i'm not really interested in other rich people them so much but just listen to what i have to say and um yeah be the judge of that the reason why i said the rich um is that uh with music it takes mm-hmm. a lot of monetary and more time we as uh musicians mm-hmm. we need uh, the input of the person who has the know all and the necessary needs to get things done so that's the reason why i was um illustrating in that topic but however okay i've been watching social media mm-hmm. quite recently <laughs> and i noticed that you're on a verge i see you in africa explain yes. that for me talk about that for me yes i love talking about africa <laughs> that was the best experience of my music career ever i went to ghana and um, I went on a spiritual journey to find myself as an African woman completely. Okay. And um, I did a show there, a concert there, and um, the crowd was amazing. The people was amazing. I felt as if I came back home, and that's how they greeted me. You know, we have the stigma about African, African people, and so forth, but it is so not true unless you go and experience it yourself i mean the people in ghana they're known for their hospitality and it was just amazing the concert it was on the beach in the late night and um we had um other main artists as well that was there um as my supporting act it was i won and it was it was a great show a really really great performance okay well 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 said because i like to know about africa i've never been myself and i always been told whatever um regard any workplace i'm working that i'm african and i always say no i'm caribbean so i would like to catch up with the africa side so i'm gonna put you on the spot real quickly because we're doing this really fast you know it's up and live saturdays and any artists listening right now if you want to get in contact with us follow my social media page that's rick up and live or send a message to my email that's rick dj farms at yahoo.com get your music over we are lining up and just get the interview up and running all right so Kendra Celestra in studios right now. I know you don't like to work with anything but your material, mm-hmm. but if you can just give me a little uh, something live on the spot for me, I'm just going to play this track. That- them just can't cool ya so all the trap them I said and I send them loose track cause Jaja is guiding my step and my fire my fire you can't quench as I said before we got the live inside the studio the artist Kendra Celestia the real powerful artist inside this evening, up and live Saturday. I'm 
just tell them if you know what Zaga represent for the EG Eric. I mean, I say up on live, up on live. Up okay, on before live. we go any further, um, thanks for having you for an art of open live Saturday, Kendra Celestia. Thank you. I'll need you to tell the people um how to get in contact with you and your music and how to find Kendra. Just sell yourself for me, please. Okay, well, I'm on all social media. Um, on Facebook, I am Kendra Celesta. My official Facebook page is K3NDRA Celesta. On Instagram, I'm Kendra Celesta. Um, email me at Kendra Celesta Music. Twitter, Kendra Celesta. And um, yeah. And uh, Russ Blinger Records, of course, because I'm working under the Russ Blinger Records label. Oh, I like that. All right. And I do look for Russ Blinger. I'm um, in studio one of these coming weeks as well. We're going to be definitely doing something, hooking up something on that one and that regard. All right. So thank you very much, Kendra Celestra. And no, you know, nobody you want to shout out before you go. You know, no, you must have a little friend you want to call to. <laughs> shout out to everybody. I don't love to call out specific name because you always forget somebody and then somebody go back. So shout out to everybody who is locked in, locked on all over the world. And to my little prince, he, I think he's probably sleeping right now, but yeah. Shout out to that. And to my husband, actually. Yeah. Well, like, you're leaving for last. You see you? <laughs> Save the best for last. All right. Thank you very much. And this is Open Live Saturdays, every Saturdays, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. All right.